Hi, I'm Brett. You'll remember our earlier video where we showed you the uh, coolant running out of the sump plug on the EJ25 in the Subaru that was on the hoist. Uh, make sure you check out that video. Well, now we've got the engine out of the car and um, we can see the unfortunate catastrophic damage internally. And what we've spoken about in the previous videos is the damage that has been done to the sump and possibly causing a restriction of oil to the oil pump, which then may have caused internal engine damage and caused the catastrophic failure of the engine. Now, we don't know yet because we haven't pulled it completely apart. We can only present the facts on what we know is wrong. And we do know the engine is seized and there's major damage done internally. We've pulled the sump off. So this is the sump. And you can see down inside here, these are actually pieces of the piston and uh, all the rest of the stuff that is unfortunately what's left of that um, piston that's collapsed and then fallen down. There's actually another piece of the oil ring, which is the space of the two bottom ones. Now, what, what I wanted to show you is what sits down inside here is the oil pickup, which is this part here. And that sits uh, um, down in the bottom of the sump. And when the sump is bent up, it's like putting your hand over that, which then forms a restriction and the oil pump can't suck oil up through here and into the pump and into the engine. Now also sitting inside here on the underside of the engine is what they call the windage tray. And again, you can see it's pretty filthy dirty. It's, we haven't even cleaned it. You've still got all the mechanical damage. So that then sits on the underside of the engine. And um, what I'll show you, we've got the engine turned upside down. And this is now the underside of the engine. So the sump normally sits here. You've got the oil filter, the exhaust manifold, and the engine mounts. And I'll just show you down inside there is what's left of the um, smashed up piston. And you can see right down the bottom there on the other underside of the block is the rest of the smashed up piston. And frankly, we know when we pull the heads out, it's gonna be a bit of an ugly mess. So at the moment, um, we're going to stop right here. The good news is we've pulled the tops off the um, uh, rocker covers and you can see there's no mechanical damage thankfully done to the camshaft journals. We don't know until we pull the cams out of the bearings themselves, the journals on either side, but we do expect to see the inside of the combustion chamber on the underside of the heads where it matches the ball and the block is going to be pretty badly damaged. We just don't know whether we can save the heads yet or not. So there you have it. Um, make sure that you learn by the unfortunate situation that's happened in this car. Make sure that you are aware of where to jack your car up correctly. I can't say at the moment whether that was the root cause of the failure. All we can say is this is what we found is wrong. Um, that'll be up to um, somebody else to decide on who is going to pay for the engine repair. But we'll find out more information when it comes apart um, and we'll present that with facts back to the owner of the car. So hopefully this video has helped him understand a little bit more about it as well. But of course, check out our other video where I showed you what it was like with all the coolant and the water draining out of the sump. And of course, um, for engine rebuilds, you can contact us direct here in Sydney at MRT Performance. Of course, we do tunes all around Australia and sell parts all around the world. Um, check us out on mrtperformance.com.au and our tuning side of the business, mrttuned.com.au. My name is Brett Middleton. Um, we'll do another video soon. Thanks for watching.